opportunity. This is on us. The center of gravity for this is down on 38th and Chicago. The center of gravity lies in this state. Governor Walls and First Lady Gwen Walls did not notify the media they'd be at the George Floyd Shrine at 38th and Chicago, but Netro crews were working there already and spotted them. Later, while announcing the extension of the curfew for at least two more nights, the governor called for real judicial reform, real strides toward economic equity for persons of color. We have major post-secondary educational institutions that graduated zero teachers of color. Tens of thousands of students. We can't find a teacher that looks like the kids they're teaching. You don't need another one that looks like me. You are born in this state. Two babies sitting next to each other in the hospital. We can predict which one's going to live longer by the color of their skin. Not by genetics, not by the background. While he was at the George Floyd site, the governor personally apologized to CNN correspondent Omar Jimenez, who was arrested by state troopers during a live report Friday morning. Okay. Do you mind oh, telling me why I'm under arrest, sir? He also no, said he was no, sorry to no, NBC's right. Morgan Chesty, who was part of a crew that was pinned down by police as they advanced on protesters. Please accept my deepest apologies. Yes, I think it undermined so trust in the country. That was John Croman reporting for us tonight. And here's a statement from Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry. He responded to today's charges saying that George Floyd's plea that his struggle to survive went unrecognized and unaided by not just one but four officers will live forever as the most chilling moments in our city's history. Adding those officers not taking action was a failure to recognize George Floyd's humanity. Well, right now,